Uh, if you were just in the session, I talked about uh, our numbering system. We actually talk a lot of tempo in our gym, zero through four. And I think this helps with reading a lot. So what I did is I just took setting. Everybody knows what a one ball is in front of the setter, right? Usually a one is one right in front of the setter, a foot above the net, okay? I just took that and expanded it to every other skill. So when we pass balls, I'll tell them I want a fourth tempo pass. What does that mean? Above the antenna. Third tempo pass, antenna height. Second tempo pass, mid antenna. First tempo pass, hopefully we're not having any of those, but right on top of the tape. And zero balls are anything below the net. So we did that in passing, digging, any of your platform skills. Obviously setting, it's already there. You already talk about setting high balls and some of you guys might call your outside set of four. We also transitioned into serving. So we said serve a fourth tempo ball, nice and high over the antenna. Sometimes it's easier to get deeper balls that way. Third tempo right at antenna height, second tempo antenna middle of the antenna, first tempo right above the net. You hear coaches say it all the time, I want it flat. I want it flat. Well, what does flat mean, right? And if you start telling them these different tempos, it also helps them change their ball contact a little bit. And so once we started doing that, you also saw some let serves, and so those things started happening in practice, and now we were actually able to practice let serves, which you don't really want to do, but it helped us when those situations were occurring. So we transitioned that setting system into every other skill. I actually tell our kids when we're blocking to block first tempo. We don't want height, we want depth across the net. And so we tell them as soon as your hands cross the net, we want first tempo blocking instead of second or third tempo blocking. We don't get third tempo blocking in our gym because we're at five eight. Um, but when I did get a chance to work with USA, you have to adjust your tempo again based on your level. You know, when working with USA, or I'm sure John can confess to this too, they jump a lot higher, so you might have to change that range a little bit to what you're doing. So that's one of the things that we did in our numbering system. I spread that out and just did different things. The other thing, and again, the other little middle out there in the headband, she played for me, and, and last season, she runs a very, very quick one ball. And so if you scouted us, everybody knew that's what they were going to do, and they would just camp their middles out right there on that middle. So as the season went on and they were scouting, she wasn't having nearly as much success. So in the middle of the season, I said, let's develop a new set, and let's just have us push the one away, and we're going to call it a push. So if you guys have nomenclature two feet away from the setter, but a one tempo, so you might call it a 21. So we called it a push. So now she wasn't going right to that setter. She was going a little bit away. Well, those blockers were staying with our setter, and now they're trying to jump into her line of attack, and they just couldn't get with her because she's so quick in her transitions. So again, it's just something that I was like, okay, that was successful early, but now she's not having success, and she's small, so we have to design something to make her successful. Same scenario. 2016, one of our middles out there right now runs a slide really, really well, and she ran it fast. I had the team that actually, I think, won the national championship that year said, I want you to come teach our team how to run slides, and it was one of those things. I don't know that I taught her. She was just super natural at running that one-foot takeoff, and she was quick at it. Well, the other shorter middle that I was talking about ran the ones really well. She couldn't run that tempo set. So what did we do? We created another set to just slow things down. Same location just a different arc on the ball to get a little bit higher tempo to have success. So I encourage you to not be afraid of just creating something to make your players successful rather than just thinking in the box of, okay, well, a three and a one and an A or whatever your numbering system might be is all I'm gonna run with my middles. Be creative, try. And I think some coaches are afraid of that creativity, but yet are never gonna get better unless you try new things. So I'd encourage you to do that. 